Hello everyone, this is Aina and Alessandra. Today we are starting a brand new series and this is called Source Filmmaker Tips. So if you don't know anything about what the Source Filmmaker is, it's a software which is used by Valve themselves to create all these animations. So if you don't know any of the animations, if you play Team Fortress 2 and you've seen the Meet the Team trailers, this is the software that was used to make all of them. They're pretty simple. So as you can see, there's just a spy here sitting here not doing anything, and, I, and everyone's wondering. And then everyone will be wondering, what are you going to do with this model? Well, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be putting the cloak effect. So if you don't know anything about using the cloak effect on the game, on the software, sorry, it's pretty complex. Before they added this new update, which came out, I think, a couple months ago. Where you had to keep downloading all sorts of stuff in order for you to get this. But now Valve added something to the Source Filmmaker which allows us to make a more complex, much easier way. Some of these tips I'm giving you could be easy, some are going to be hard. So let's just get on to it. So for this tip, you want to keep hold of the element viewer and drag it all the way here. So you see the timeline in the middle. And I want to make this place a little bit bigger so I'm able to see the timeline and everything. So, about the element viewer. This is where you're going to be changing the model. But do be very, very careful when using the element viewer. The reason why is because if you do something bad with this, it could go terrible wrong. And the state you're, you're into could be unrecoverable. So now I get the safety out of the way first. Let's get this spy to get his cloak effect. Right click on the spy. So he's standing there. Before I do that, he's standing here. This will be in another tip. And this is added sequences to the game. Added sequences. And there's a spy, knife in the spy's hand. And I want him, his entire body, including his knife, to be invisible. So first, we want the spy to be in the element viewer which is over here. So you want to right click on the spy and click show an element viewer as a model. And as you can see it shows up here. Now we're looking at an area that says materials. As you can see there are no materials so we're going to have to add this. So you want to right click the spy again and click add override materials. And as you can see materials covers up 32 items. Press the plus sign and keep scrolling down until you see and as you see we are already on all of the spies things okay so if you cannot find this you're supposed to be looking for a cloak factor so if you don't know anything about the cloak factor this is what is what's making the spy turn invisible in the first place should be here somewhere here so when you scroll down here we go now I found out how you want to click on the spies red here and you can see something called cloak factor and there's a now this is all clock cloak factor tint so we want to keep that there want to give it like that and now cloak factor tells you how much you want it to be cloaked. So let's just, you can toggle this, you're safe to toggle this. Let's say I want it to be 0.5. You can see his body, only his body is cloaked. His face, his cigarette, his tongue and his eyes will still be there and the knife. So 0.5 is half done. 0.1 is pretty much completely full. And 1 is his body completely gone. But you may see his knife and his face is still there. So let's get this back to zero. So now for the cloak factor tint. This is the colour of the cloak. Because he's red, we want the cloak to also be red. So press on the colour. And this little bar here will come up. Now you might want to move this here a little bit. So that you're able to see the colour. Make this... Uh, about that red. Okay, keep it to about this sort of red. 
You can pause the video if you like to get all this exactly right. And you write on it. And in case you want to use this for the other parts, you want to right click on the colour and copy it. So now we have this. Let's create the set for it. Right click Spy Red and put in create animation set for element. And this will say cloak factor 0 0.002. So as I said, zero is not cloaked, one is completely cloaked. Don't toggle any of this and click OK. And as you can see, that's there. So I click on this. And as you can see, it says spy red, so we connect it to the spy model. And there's this bar. Drag it. And as you can see, as you drag it, the colour goes over the spy until his body completely disappears. And let's just roll this back. So let's say I want the spy's head to do the same. So spy head red. Do the exact same thing. Spy. Now. I want to click show an element viewer again. Because I appear to have done something which got rid of it. So, so now I suppose head zero. And then, this is why I told you, this saves a lot of time. Right click on the colour and click paste, so you have the exact same colour. Then with this, create animation set for element. And then you want to do the same for, and then we'll do this. Forget about the background noise. And have a look. You may not notice it, but if we go closer, it looks a bit funny. His eyes and his cigarette are still there. This is how people make their sort of comedy animations where their entire body's gone, but the only thing that's still there are their eyes. The body is connected to the cigarette, so if the body goes, as you can see, the cigarette went with it. So all that's poking out of the eyes and the knife still. So let's bring his head back. We, wanted, we don't want him to be talking headless. Here we go. Okay. So then you want to do the same thing for the eyes. So go to spy eye. Spy eyeball L. Paste. Create animation set for element. Okay. Create animation set for element. And then when you look, his entire body will be gone when I select all of them. But the knife is the only thing that is still going to be visible. For proof... I will actually make this entire thing be completely invisible. Cloak factor. So you can see now both his eyeballs are gone. So, and his knife is still the thing standing. So this is how they make some of the animation you saw in the trailer for the Saxe Awards where all you saw running was the Saxe. And that's how they did this. So this is... But some people want the knife to be gone. So this is how you do it. We'll just uncloak the spy completely. Now I do, as, a, as always, I do apologise for the rings that go around the, um, uh, that go around the mouse. I just can't help it. It's just what's in there. Okay. And make sure you're on this button. This is called the motion editor. I'm going to make a tutorial about, um, all of this source filmmaker later but for now I'm just giving you guys tips so now we want to make the knife do the exact same do the same thing you did with the spy W underscore knife show an element viewer as a model right click on it add all our materials now have a look not this one, not knife gold. Okay. There, cloak factor. Same thing. Paste. Create animation set for the element. Click OK. And his knife, I'm going to do this. And voila, his knife goes. There are some things people, this is how people usually make. The animation where this people just pop up in the middle of nowhere. 
we're going to use this time, this table. So we're going to zoom in a bit. Here, we're going to select some time. So in the, so according to the sound, it takes about two seconds to cloak. So you stay, it stays cloaked for about three seconds. So one, two, three, and I, and it takes you about three seconds to decloak. And then right in the center will be where same amount of time to decloak. So two seconds to cloak, two seconds to decloak. So no matter where you are, as long as you're in the middle, it does the exact same. So keep scrolling all of this till his entire body is literally invisible. Now the eyes only go if the spy's head goes. So if the spy's head goes, then his eyes go with it. Then we press enter, and then we want to go back, and we want to go through. So as you can see, his entire body decloaks, give it like a few seconds, and he comes back. So this is your first. This was the first tip I've ever given you in the Source Filmmaker. So I hope you have enjoyed this tip and I'll see you guys when I get on tip two or actually start the tutorials. See you later. Bye.